Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Welcome, guys. How are you? Hi, good evening, teacher. I'm hey, fine. Good evening. Very good. Very good. Good evening, Ready teacher. Action. How was your day? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello, oh, good evening, good evening. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Are you ready for your English class? Yes, we are. All right, excellent, excellent. How was your day? What did you do today? Working hard in our job. <laughs> ah, working hard, a lot of work, a we lot of money. We were very busy. A, work, a lot of, of work, a lot of money. <laughs> that's the reason. Oh, that's good, thank you, Vicente. Excellent, excellent. Welcome back, guys. What about you, teacher? Excellent. A good day. Super How was your good day? day? My day was excellent. awesome. I had an awesome day. Okay, yeah. excellent. Thank you. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Who can tell me what do you remember about yesterday's class? What activities do you remember? What vocabulary do you remember? What questions do you remember? Who can tell me? Who can tell me? Who can tell me? Somebody. Do you remember from yesterday's class? Vicente. Yes, teacher. Tell me. We were talking. Remember? We were talking about ourselves mm -hmm. introducing and ask a question about occupation, mm -hmm. uh, where we live. Correct. Correct. Uh, talking about our job. Mm -hmm. Talking about our pets excellent talking very about good our talking about our age yes and yes also talking about our favorite color favorite food hobbies free time activities hobbies, right excellent mm -hmm. we excellent very good information about ourselves correct correct thank you vicente anybody else okay. Anybody else that remembers what we did yesterday? Somebody? Somebody else that remembers from yesterday's class? What do you remember? Nobody. Okay. All right. Good evening. Good evening, me. Hey, good evening, Claudia. <laughs> yesterday we talked about, we learned something about fries. Practice our verbs. Mm -hmm. uh, we practice also a conversation that includes them. Very good. Very good. Can you give me an example of a, a phrasal verb that you remember? Turn, turn down the music. Turn down the music. Excellent. Correct. All right. Can somebody give me another example? So you say, turn down, turn down. the music. Turn up the TV. Excellent. Good. Good. That's another one. Turn off the TV. TV. Good. Pick it up. Okay. Pick it up. Somebody else? Somebody else? Another example. Somebody else? Somebody else? I pick it up toys, maybe. Okay. I... Pick up toys. Good, good. Somebody else? Somebody else? Somebody else? Anybody else? Another example. Another example. Anybody? Somebody give me for an example. example. For example, pick, pick up the phone, it's ringing. Very good. Pick up the phone, it's ringing. Clean up the room, maybe. Good. Pick up the phone, 
Hey, boy, pick up the toys from the floor. Okay, clean up your room. Uh, hey, boys, pick up the toys from the floor. Excellent. Okay. All right, now what I would like for us to do is go ahead and um, take a look at the next activity. For the next activity, what we're going to do is go to the platform. Does everybody have access to the platform? Yes. Okay. So we're gonna look at two part phrasal verbs. I'm going to share my screen. And I would like for you to listen, and then we're gonna practice. And the particle. Can everybody hear? Pick him up. Yes, we he can hear. He's putting it off. Call her back. As a final. Okay. So here, I would like to explain something. Uh, in this case, I can use the pronoun him in between the verb and the particle. But if you notice here, uh, he keeps putting it off. Again, we have the pronoun in between the verb and the particle. So we understand that with these two part phrasal verbs, you can separate the phrasal verb with the pronoun. You see that right here? Call her back. Call her back is the particle. So um, in this case, what I want you to understand is that you can separate the phrasal verb. You can say it like that, or if you want to say it like this, you can say, pick him up. You cannot say... Pick up him. Incorrect. That is incorrect. Or if incorrect. you say, or if you say, he keeps putting off it. Incorrect. Incorrect. Mm -hmm. You cannot, you cannot put the pronoun at the end, you cannot put the pronoun at the end. Only, okay. you can only put the pronoun in the middle, in between the phrasal verb, not after. Do you understand? For example, here, you cannot say, call back her. Incorrect. Her. You can't incorrect. say that. That is incorrect. Okay. But you can say, for example, uh, pick up, pick up Maria. That's okay. Or... Pick Maria up. That's okay. So if you use a proper noun, proper noun like Maria, then you can use it in the end or you can use it in the middle. But you cannot put the pronoun after the phrasal verb. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? No, it's okay. All right, let's continue. Now note, when you use the same verb with a different particle, the meaning changes. For okay, now this is very important. I need you to understand this right here. Put has 10 
thousand phrasal verbs in the oh English language. Yeah, only put, only put has mm. 10,000 <laughs> phrasal verbs. Oh my. Yeah, so you have to um, be able to identify the use of the phrasal verb with the complement. For example, put off. What does it mean? Put it off. means to postpone something. For example, for example, if I say to you, ah, uh, I want to go to the gym. Oh, but look, it's raining. I will go tomorrow. Oh, I want to go to the gym. Oh, but look at what time it is. Oh, I will go tomorrow. Time to English class. Yeah, yeah. So what are you doing? You are postponing something, right? You are putting it off for later. Oh, I want to go to the gym. Oh, but it's so expensive. Oh, I have money for I I'll go tomorrow. I'll go tomorrow. I want to go to the gym. Oh, 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 I'm so tired. So you never go to the gym. So you put it off. Put it put off. off. Correct. Right. So you're going to say, off. I put off going to the gym all my life. I put off. I put put off. Going to the gym all my life. Go in, going. Now, the next one is put on. What does that mean? What does that mean? Put on. So put on put means cover your, cover your body with clothes. Now, for example, oh. for example, let's say that uh, I say to you, hey, you have to put on the face mask to go to the super, right? You have to put on, put on a face mask to go to the super. So what is put on to cover your body with clothes. Or you say, hey, let's go, let's go. Put on your shoes. Put on your shoes. Or you say, oh, it's windy, it's so windy. I will put on a cap. I will put on a cap. That means to cover your body with something. Put on. Any questions? Any questions? No, teacher. Any questions? Somebody, somebody, ask me a question. Somebody, anybody. For example, if you were, if you are getting ready to go out, uh -huh. we can we can say uh, put on a shirt or put on correct. a jacket. Correct, correct. If you say let's put go to the... Planes de Renderos, put on a sweater. A sweater. Yes, right. Uh, oh, right. it's raining! It's Low. raining! It's raining outside. Put on a rain suit. Rain suit, right. That's right. That's right. Okay. Back. Put back. Put back. What does that mean? To return something to its original place. For example, for example, uh, imagine you are in the kitchen cooking. You're making cookies. And then your mom goes in the kitchen and she 
takes the cookies and you say, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, mom, ah, uh, 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 ah, you are diabetic, you are diabetic, put back the cookies. <laughs> it's not for you. <laughs> you can't eat cookies, <laughs> all right? Or for example, for your health. it's not good for your health, it's going to kill you. Or for example, <laughs> yeah, a cookie can kill a diabetic, believe me. <laughs> or for example, when somebody takes uh, your cell phone and you say, hey, uh-uh, mm -hmm. uh-uh, don't take my cell put phone, back. put it back, put it back. Put it back. Uh-huh. Or for right. example, imagine your son, he wants to play with your keys, your work keys, your car keys, your house keys. What do you say? Uh-uh-uh, baby boy, uh-uh-uh, put the put keys back. back, put them back, put them back. Any questions okay. at this moment? Any questions at this moment? At this teacher. moment, no. Yes, uh, can the whole teacher? Uh, me, Edgar. Edgar. Hey, what's going on, Edgar? Talk to me now. Uh, I have a question. Yes, sir. In in that case, if I want to use put off. Okay. Put off is when you want to postpone a situation. For okay. example, go, going to use, If I have a problem with my internet, if I want to share the some class, and I, wanna, I want to say, I want to put off the meeting for the next day. That is correct. You can say that. Yes, you, you can put off. The, yes. Uh, pronounce the, na the name uh, at the end or in the middle. Put both. the meeting off. You can say it both. You can say, I will put the meeting off or I will put off the meeting. But uh, okay. you can also say, I am going to put it off. But yeah, I can't it, say yeah. I am going to put off it. That is incorrect. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. All right. Okay. Good. 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 Awesome. Awesome. Another question. Good question, Edgar. Thank you for that question. Another question. Um, me, teacher. Yes, Brenda. What's going on? Um. Uh, can you use in idioms? The first are verse? No? Or yeah, yes? Well, not idioms, not idioms, because remember that idioms are composed phrases. So idioms is one thing and phrasal verbs is another thing. They don't go together. Okay. Okay. Thanks. I got it. Okay. Good. Good. Another question. Another question. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. You can ask me the question. At this moment, it's okay. Okay. With the practice, we're going to learn. Okay. That's good. That's good. Let's go ahead and continue. Now. Example. Put plus off means to postpone. Put plus on means to cover your body with clothes. Put plus back means to return something to its original place. Return. We will finish this explanation by adding that two-part verbs or phrasal verbs are very common, especially in formal English. Okay, pay attention to that, especially in informal English. So what does that mean? That means that most of the time, phrasal verbs are used in conversation. Hey, what's going on? I don't know. I had a meeting today, but I put it off. What do you mean I put it off? Yeah, I had to go pick up my girl. Where? To the gym. Oh, okay. Hey, hey, put that down. Put that down. Uh-uh. Hey, put that back. Put that back. That's mine. Right? So... Uh, phrasal verbs are used in American English all day, every day in conversations. 
you will get okay. familiar. You will get familiar uh, as you practice them and increase your vocabulary. Okay. Now that you have identified phrasal verbs, we want you to write some examples. Write on our discussion box one sentence using a phrasal verb with a noun and another sentence with a pronoun. Okay, so I want you to give me five examples Car. using the pronouns that we have here. Put off, put on, put back. Use those examples and pick up. Pick up. Call back. Give me at least five sentences. Five sentences. And I want you to write the five sentences right here where it says discussion forum, discussion forum. Any questions? Any questions? No, it's clear. Does anybody have any five, questions? Five, five examples. sentences uh, using uh, all the examples. That is correct. That is correct. Okay, with, good. With the pronoun and with the noun. proper noun. Correct. That is correct. Right? You can say put down the cookie or put it down. Put it down. Uh huh. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? All right. No, I, I want you to work in pairs and I want you to write it on the platform. On the platform, right here. On the platform in the discussion forum. You're going to go right here where it says, Añade una publicación. You're going to look right there. Click. Then you're going to go where it says título and you're going to write phrasal verbs. And after that, you're going to give me five examples. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. And then you're going to click Enviar. Any questions? All right. Okay. I'm going, I'm going to, to uh, open the, the platform. You can open the platform and you can share your screen with your partner. Everybody go where it says join. 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 Okay. Everybody go where it says join. Click join. You got to join. That's right. Click join or entrar. It should say join or entrar, something like that. Very similar. Very good. All right. Good job. Okay, so we can have Vincent, Lorena, Sarai, Alicia, Norma, Cecilio, and Noe work together. Work together. Okay, uh, uh, teacher, one question. I I'm I confused. I'm in the platform, but I don't know where is the options to 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 write the examples. Oh, okay, you're gonna go uh, on the platform where it says uh, section number 1.3, 1.3, two part verbs, will for responding to requests. You got that? 1.3. 1.3, correct. 1.3. Got it. Okay, so once you're there, you're gonna go down, 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 where it says, añade una publicación. Ah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, okay, go ahead, go ahead. Uh huh. So I'm in. Ah, okay. This is the space to to tape. 
That is correct. You work okay. with your team. Norma, I see you got Norma, you got Cecilio, Alicia Perez. Okay. I'm going to tape. Uh, yeah. Uh, other Burdong, my house. Uh, clean up the room. Mm -hmm. Burn down the house, clean up the room. Good, and good. clean up. Mm -hmm. Oh, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm, calm down. down. Yeah, calm down. Tranquilly, easy. Tranquilly, easy. Mm -hmm. Calm <laughs> down. That's right. That's right. Okay. That's good. That's good. Um, or, uh, Catch up the bus. Okay, catch up to the bus. Very good. Catch up to the bus. That's right. That's right. Mm. Cancel bus. Catch up to the bus. Correct. Good. That's it. Good. Ada. Good job. I like that. I like that. Good job, Lenin. Excellent. Escribieron en la plataforma. No. no. <laughs> okay. Only gonna... book. Ah, okay. Pero lo tiene que hacer en la plataforma. Okay. All right, all right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Is everybody ready? Welcome back, welcome back. Norma, hello. Alicia Perez, hello. Sandra, hello. Hola. Hello, how are you? Are you ready? Are you finished? Yeah. Solo logramos hacer una oración. Oh, okay. Can you give me an example, please? Pick up, pick, pick Maria up the cell phone. Excellent. Pick Maria up from the super selectos. Very good. So, quiso decir, ¿verdad? Recoge a Maria del super selectos. <laughs> Era cell phone. <laughs> Ah, ¿Era, era qué? No, no lo escuché. ¿Qué dijo? No lo escuché bien. Ay, Dios mío. ¿Ah? Big, big Maria of the cell phone. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Eh, quiere decir, eh, contesta el teléfono que María está llamando. Eso quería decir. Um, sí, sí, más o menos. Ajá, ok, vaya. Si quiere decir así, vamos a decirlo así. Va a decir... Eh, pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. Contesta el teléfono. María is calling. O María está llamando. Eso quería decir. Sí. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Very good, Sandra. Thank you for your example. Uh, somebody else, give me an example, please. Somebody else, give me an example, please. Somebody, somebody, give me an example. An example. What? Yeah. Uh, Juan Antonio. Oh, yeah. Juan Antonio. Yes, Le sir. 
Let's go to the beach. Put on your swim fits. Let's go to the beach. Wow. Put, Put on your swim fits. On your swim suit. Perfect. Good, good. Excellent. Thank you. Another example. Somebody, another. Yes. Clean up your room. It smells bad. Oh, wakala. Clean up your room. It stinks. It stinks. It stinks quiere decir apesta. Clean up your room. It stinks. O hiede. For example, Ada. Yes. Uh, repeat, please. I didn't hear you. Give it up the smoking. Excellent. Give up smoking. Perfect. Deja de fumar. Give up smoking. Good, good. Thank you, Ada. Excellent example. Somebody else. Somebody else. Anybody? Somebody. Can be he brought up other matters in your conversation? Very good. He brought up other matters in the conversation excellent he brought up other matters in the conversation okay all right looks like uh it looks good it looks good i can see that you got a lot of examples pick up the phone maria is calling uh, let's go to the beach put on your swimsuit uh clean up your room it stinks uh, give up smoking and uh, he brought up other matters in the conversation. Good job. Uh, I see somebody texted. Okay, pick Maria up the cell phone. John, put off your shoes. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to take attendance, guys. It's already time for the attendance. I got to take the attendance right now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call your name. When I call your name, I would like for you to say present. Presente. If I say okay. presente, right? I want you to say it like that. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no problem. That's right. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You know. That's, you the know. Way, that's the way to gotta do it. You know how it is. You know how it is. Okay. Um, Ada. Presente. Present. Excellent. Excellent. Good job. With energy. With energy, Present. yeah, yeah. Disculpen, guys, okay. voy llegando del gym, so soy un poco uh, no yeah, problem, teacher. on the treadmill. <laughs> uh, Alicia. Present. Very good. Anna. Anna. Sonia. Is absent, okay, Ana Sonia, absent. Eh, guys, si ustedes ven que su compañero está por allí y no ha respondido, eh, por favor me deja saber. Yo estoy viendo la, no estoy viendo la pantalla donde están ustedes en este momento. Estoy viendo la pantalla de la spreadsheet donde está la asistencia. So si usted ve su compañero que está aquí y no dijo nada, por favor me dice, por favor. Thank you. Ok. All right. Um, Andrea. Present. Very good. Brenda. Brenda. It's me. Good job. It's me. Present. Good job. Cecilio. Present teacher. Very good. Claudia. Present teacher. Thank you. Edgar. Present teacher. Very good. Eugenio. 
Present teacher. Awesome. I'm here. Awesome. Giovanni. Giovanni. Josue. Is absent. Okay. Jennifer. Present. Good job. Juan Antonio. Present. Very good. Lenin. Present. Thank you. Lorena. Peter, in the, in the WhatsApp group, uh, there is a message from Gio. Ah, yeah. Okay. I, I guess this Giovanni. Yeah. Okay. He was absent. Yeah. yeah, I see that. He's absent. Yeah, he's absent. Eh, Lorena. De Los Angeles. Lorena de Los Angeles. Lorena has a problem with internet to... In, oh, okay, she in has a problem. It was a group. Okay, then let me check. Uh, Lorena Menjivar. I have a problem too. I have problem. Lorena Menjivar, yeah. Platform, Eugenio, Gio. Okay, yeah, those are... All right. Uh, Luis Alfredo. Present teacher, I am here. Excellent. Maria Jose. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria. Noe Ezekiel. Present teacher. Excellent. Norma. Present teacher. Good job. Olivia. Present. Excellent. Oscar. I'm here. Awesome. Sandra. Present. Very good. Sarai. Noemi. Sarai Noemi. Is absent. Okay. Vicente. I'm here, teacher. Good job. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and move forward. At this moment, does anybody have any questions about the phrasal verbs? Questions about the phrasal verbs. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next section. The next section is going to be section 1.4 instructions. Look at the following pictures, then complete the requests with the words. More than one answer is possible. Instrucciones. Observe las siguientes imágenes. Luego complete las peticiones con las palabras de las imágenes. Más de una opción es posible. All right, let's check it out. Let me have one volunteer. One volunteer. Number one. Yo volunteer. Okay, Luis. Number okay. one. Number one. Pick up the toys, please. Pick up the toys, please. Pick up toys. The toys on the floor. The toys. You know, the picture number two. Okay. Thank you. Pick up the toys, please. Does it say on the floor? Or does it say yes. only, huh? Yes, on yep. the floor. On the jar. On the floor. Okay. Number two. Vicente. Me, yes, teacher. Turn the TV off, please. Turn the TV off, please. Good job. Number three, Brenda. Clean the jar up, please. Clean the yard up, please. Thank you. Number four, somebody. Number four, Me somebody, again? anybody. No, I want everybody to participate. 
Okay, thank you, Vin th thank you, Vincent. But I, I need everybody to participate. All right, Claudia, and then Edgar. Claudia, put the books away. Put maybe the books away. Maybe good. Please put the books away. Maybe. <laughs> The next one, Edgar, Jennifer, you are number six. Edgar, number five. Uh, please turn down the radio. Please turn down the radio. Good job. The radio. Please turn down the radio. Jennifer, number six. Please take off your boots. Please take off your boots. Excellent. Number seven. Number Good seven. Teacher. All right. Uh, right. Hum, hum the jackets up, please. Hang the jacket up, please. Very good. Very good. Number eight. Your, your jacket. Me, teacher. All right, Maria. Please take out the trash. Just hang your jacket. Give me one second, Maria. Hang your jacket hang up, your jacket. please. Okay, thank you. Uh, please take out the trash. Excellent. Number nine. Please place the dog out all right please let the dog out good job ada number 10 turn on the radio please turn on the radio please or the all right, or the TV. Excellent work. Excellent work. Oh, look at this one, the last one. What is that one? Only the dogs. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I, knew it. I said that. I said, does it say on the floor? You said yes. I, said, I was like, I don't think so. But anyway, it's all good. Please. Okay, good job. Everybody listen and repeat. Pick up the toys, please. Pick, Pick up, up the toys, toys please. please. Turn the TV off, please. Uh, Turn the TV, the TV off, please. off, please. Clean the yard up, please. Clean the yard, the yard up, please. 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 Put the books please. away. Please, please put, put the, the books, books away. away. Please turn down the radio. Please, Please turn, turn down, down the, radio. the radio. Please take off your boots. Please, Please, Please take, take off, off your, boots. your boots. Hang your jacket up. Please. Hang, Hang your, your jacket, jacket up. up. Please. Please take out the trash. Please, Please take, take out, out the trash. trash. Please let the dog out. Please, please, please let, let the, the dog, dog out. out. Turn on the radio, please. Turn, Turn, on, the Turn on, the radio, on the radio, please. So I want you to notice that please can be interchangeable. It can go at the end of the sentence or it can go at the beginning of the sentence. Whatever you prefer. If you want to put it in the beginning, put it in the beginning. If you want to put it in the end, put it in the end. Yes. Oh, I got uh, two questions. In in my case, I um, in the number ten, I answer uh, like this: Turn on the lights, please. And okay. it's correct. That's and okay. Also, in number four, I I answer: Please put the trash away. And it's yeah. correct. Yeah. 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 It has multiple answers, right? Here, please take out the trash. Please take out the dog. 
is correct. More than one option. Yeah, please, the radio, the TV, that's okay. The books or mm -hmm. the toys or your jacket or the trash. It's, it's acceptable. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the next section, which is section 1.5, lesson objective. In this class, you will notice the street patterns in requests which are verbs. En esta clase, haremos énfasis en los patrones de fuerza de voz en peticiones con los verbos compuestos. Are you ready? Are yes. you ready? Any questions right now? Yes, yes, ready. Yes, we are. Okay, great. That's what I like. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. Pronunciation, stress, and harsh verbs. So this is a pronunciation activity. Please repeat. Pronunciation is as important. Please. Now, something that you can do in your free time is you can follow along and repeat uh, the video, right? For example, for example. Hi again. Hi again. Not only Remember, understanding grammar is important, grammar but also pronunciation important. is as important. Please listen and practice the stress Please in two part verbs. Stress in pronunciation. Two part verbs. So if you do that, what are you going to do? You're going to develop fluency. You're going to develop pronunciation. It's going to improve your speaking skills. It's going to improve uh, your audio skills. So that's something that you can do. You just mimic the video. Everybody, let's okay. do it right now. Let's do it right now together. Ready? One, two, three. Hi again. Hi remember again. not only understanding is important, but remember pronunciation is as important. important. Please listen and important. practice the stress in two parts. So you can do that in your free time. Uh, you can do that in your free time, right? Mimic the video, go to the video. And what's going to happen? You're going to improve your 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 speaking skills, right? It's like, for example, when you are, uh, I remember, I don't like reggaeton, but I remember a long time ago, uh, the song, Lo que paso, paso, entre tú y yo, lo que paso, paso, entre tú y yo. And I don't, I mean, I don't even like, got it, got it. <laughs> I don't even like reggaeton, right? So one day. Uh, the best is Guns and Roses. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, one day, I don't know where I heard the song, if I heard it on the radio, if I heard it on TV, I don't remember. Everywhere. But, but I was singing the song. I was like, what the hell is, what's wrong with me? What What's wrong with me, right? <laughs> But that's what happens. That's that's the magic of repetition. So if you guys repeat, 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 even if it's a video, even if it's a song, it's going to be contagious and it's going to stick in your head. So instead of memorizing something that's not going to help you in your life, why don't you memorize one of these videos? Listen to the teacher as the teacher talks to the students. You know what happened to me? Let me tell you what happened to me. I had to take the TOEFL exam. I don't know if you are familiar with the TOEFL exam, but the TOEFL exam is an exam for teachers. Uh, so when I first took the exam, I didn't have a good, uh, a good uh, grade. I was like normal. Uh, so, but I didn't prepare. The first time I didn't prepare, I was very... Oh, psh, that's easy. Awful. Psh, that's easy. I got that piece of cake. Piece of cake. Woo! Whatever. But it's not whatever. So the first <laughs> time I didn't do too good. The second time I prepared, I bought the audio CDs and I would listen to the audio CDs in my car all the time uh, when I was driving. I was listening to the CDs. And when I was in the gym, I was listening to the CDs, taking a shower, I'm listening to the CDs. Then what happened? I memorized the audio program for one month. Listen to the professor as the professor 
talks to the students. Okay, guys, next month is going to be your final project. I need for everybody to select a topic and present it on Monday. Professor, my brother is getting married this weekend. Can I postpone my project? <laughs> no, Cindy, you have to present it like every... So I had the whole audio memorized, right? Before I used to listen to 50 cents. I like what you do. Dun, 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 dun. And when you do, dun, 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 dun. I used to listen and I had it memorized. So I said, let me memorize this. And the second time that I took the exam, I had a, you got it. I had a super high, uh, super high grade, almost perfect. Yeah. So why am I sharing this story with you? Because it works. If it's something that you practice, if you something that you repeat, if it's a song in English, if it's a class in English, anything that you consume your mind uh, and repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, I promise you, before you know it, you're going to be speaking in English completely fluently. And you're going to be like, oh, my God, oh, I hmm. got this. I got this. <laughs> Show me the money. Show me the money. Show me the money. <laughs> I need money. I need money. That's right. That's right. That's what's going to happen. All right. So, okay, let's listen to the. So that's a little tip. That's a little tip. That's something that you yeah. can do in your free time. Thank you very much for the tip. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Stress in two-part verbs. Part A, listen and practice. Both words in a two-part verb Receive equal stress. Pick up the toys. Repeat. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. Pick up the toys. Right. So you notice that pick up, up. have high stress. Okay. The little stress, toys, high stress. Okay, Edgar, le vamos a pedir que mantenga el micrófono en silencio. We don't want news. We, we, we don't, don't want, want the news. To hear we news. don't want to hear the news, my brother. <laughs> we already know what's going on. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Turn off the light. Repeat. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. I want you to notice that es como cantadizo, right? Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Everybody repeat. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Pick the toys up. Pick the toys up. Pick the toys up. Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Turn off the light, girl. Yeah, I remember that song. Okay, repeat. Pick them up. 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 Turn it off. 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 So, uh, okay, let's continue. Pick, pick the toys up. Turn the light off. Pick them up. Turn it off. Now that you have listened to the stress, go ahead and practice saying the following two part verbs. Pick up our thing. Okay, listen and repeat. Pick up our things. Pick up pick, our thing. Cut it out. Pick up. Cut, cut it out. Cut, cut it out. out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Drop me off. Drop me off. Drop me, Drop me off. off. Drop Turn me the off. radio up. Turn Drop the radio up. Put the phone down. 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 Okay, you're going to uh, practice the pronunciation of these phrasal verbs, and you're going to go to uh, Boca Ru, and you are going to record yourself. Do you know Boca Ru? No, we don't know. Okay. What is that? It's a Boca Ru. There it is. Give me one second. 
I'm going to share Boca Rude online with you on the chat group. Okay, did everybody get it on the chat group? Let's see, Boca Ru, yeah. Okay, got it. So, so you're gonna click on Boca Ru, you're gonna go right here in the red circle, and you're gonna click, and then you're going to record yourself aloud. You're going to record yourself, pick up our things. Cut it out, drop me off. And then turn the radio up, put the Pick phone down, thing. all right? And then when you're finished recording, when you're finished recording, you're going to stop. And then you can, if you want to listen to your recording, you can press play. Loud. You're going to record and yourself. Pick up the radio. Up. Pick up Cut it out. Drop me <laughs> off. So funny. Yeah, alguien tenía la and tele, then, I don't know. Turn the radio up. Escucha lo que digo. Put the phone We are here in the news. Sorry. Right. When you're finished Sorry. recording, when you're finished recording, you're going to stop. All right. <laughs> so you, it's very yeah. funny. Yeah. Sorry, man. And then you're going to go to save and share. Save. And then this and part go. right here, you're going to put copiar. Copy. Bye. And then you're gonna go to the platform over here and where it says discussion, where it says añade una publicación, you're gonna click right there and you're gonna put titulo, you're gonna put pronunciation phrase verbs. And then you're gonna go here and you're going to paste the recording and you're gonna put NBR. <clears throat> Any questions? No question. Okay, right now I want you to practice the pronunciations with your groups. Practice the pronunciation with your groups. Ready, let's go. Tiene que darle donde dice entrar o ingresar. Okay, los que estamos acá eh, podemos trabajar en grupo Eugenio, Alicia, Norma y Cecil puede trabajar juntos. María José. Hola. Pick up our things. Cut it out. Drop me off. Turn the radio up. Put the phone down. Okay. In my case, in pick up our thing. Cut it out. Turn me off. Turn the radio up. Okay. Pick up or thing, put it out, drop me off, turn the radio, put the phone down. Practice. All right, Eugenio, let me hear your examples.
Oh, okay, okay. Norma. All right, guys, it's already time to go. I got to go. See you tomorrow. Good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good night. Salvado por la campana. ¿Cómo, how do you say? Saved by the bell. Saved by the bell. Saved by the bell. <laughs> Saved by the bell. <laughs> true, true that, true that. Okay, guys, good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye, good okay, night. Okay, see you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. Goodbye. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night, bye. guys. Good night. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 -bye. Good night. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. Good night. Bye. -bye. Good night. bye, -bye.